Right now, Charlotte City Council is working to reduce crime in the Queen City after one of the deadliest years in decades. We saw 107 homicides in Charlotte last year, the most since 1993. On top of that, police arrested more than 3,000 violent offenders. Violent crimes last year increased by 12%, while overall crime was up 6%. NBC Charlotte's Kendall Morris is live at 5 with a look at how city leaders are trying to crack down on crime. Kendall? Yeah, today city leaders took the first steps in forming a plan to address the crime problem. Now, one thing is clear, this isn't just an issue for CMPD. Over and over in 2019, blue lights and crime scene tape were seen across the Queen City. The homicide rate, the highest it's been in nearly three decades. I think if we really want to wrap our hands around it and have a, a long-term solution, now is the time. Charlotte City Council now bringing city leaders to the table, ready to establish a plan to combat the problem. Community safety is the job of the uh, police department and the community actually working together. City Council is looking at these building blocks to form their plan, combining forces to reduce violence and scenes like this. All aspects of, of the community, from the folk who work in the tall buildings downtown, uh, to inner city neighborhoods, to schools, to churches, it, it has to be a, a truly a comprehensive approach. Data shows four hot spots that CMPD says accounted for 8% of the city's violent crimes. Beatty's Ford near LaSalle, Nation's Ford near Arrowwood, I-85 near Sugar Creek, and Central near Sharon Amity. Crime hitting these areas year after year. City leaders are now taking a holistic approach, digging into data, looking at the root causes, and trying to use evidence-based solutions. But I will tell you, we don't worry about what we prevent. Not only hoping for a more peaceful 2020, but less violence for years to come. Now, this committee does expect to take a look at some of the city programs that are and are not working as far as crime reduction goes. Chief Putney has said that 90% of the people who graduate from the Youth Diversion Program do not reoffend. Reporting live from CMPD headquarters, Kendall Morris, NBC Charlotte.